Hello guys, welcome today to another Scratch tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a while. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic 3D Raycaster. Now this one is like extremely basic. I don't even know how to make a basic list list based Raycaster. So yeah, first thing we're going to do is create the map in here. Now the map doesn't have to be um, map doesn't have to be complicated. It just has to be a box with some crap in it. Straight. Hello, and then add some lines, and that can be our map. Who knows? Add more stuff to it if you want to. But once we add that map. All we have to do is then write, when flag clicked, go to zero, zero, which it already has down, and then set, actually, no, it's set color effect, but we need to change the color to a ghost. So set ghost effect to 100. And then it's going to that location and setting ghost effect to 100. And then we create a new sprite, and this one's just going to be a singular dot right there. And then we also have to have the same script. So here, I'll just go over to this one and then copy this script. Okay, good. You got that? Nice. Okay, so now we're going to get started on the movement. So you want to go to this sprite and click when flag, when flag clicked forever, and then put four if key something pressed. Now you want to duplicate these so that there's four of them, then switch them to whatever controls you want. Now for this, this one will use arrow keys. I don't really like the arrow key system, but most people do. So we're going to set it to arrow keys. So an up arrow pressed move uh, uh, three steps, I don't know. This can be adjusted for lag so that you can make the pl player move faster. I don't think we're actually going to be using that because we're going to be um, using something else. And then these, just set them to something like five. I don't know. Okay, got that. All good. Okay, so now we're going to create a custom block, so make block. You don't have to add anything on or anything, just name it move, and then I think you have to add a single number input, and this is what you're going to do, right? And then move for this, you're just going to put move, and then on mine I have this variable called speed, so we're going to variable speed. And then set speed to 3. And then move speed. And then move times negative 1 speed. Okay. So put speed in there. And times negative 1 speed. And now we have our move. And then for this, this will be move number 1 steps. Got that? Nice. Okay, so, and then we're going to do if, here, real quick, we just have to name this. So name this one map, because it is our map, right? This is what you're going to be playing in. And then name this one character, because that's your character. Character. Nice. Now, if touching touching map so we put if touching map if touching map then what we do real quick okay now move times so here oh wait no isn't it move number one times negative one 
steps. Now, with this down here, this is collision detecting. So say we're moving this way, if we touch this, we go this way as fast as we go this way, so we just stay there. Until we move back, then we move backwards. So we can't actually go through these walls. Now, with that all done, I think we have to create the next sprite. One second. Okay, so now, um, there's two ways you could do it. You could broadcast sense. So here, we'll put sense. You'll see what this is later. You could put broadcast sense after each one of these. Or the way I've done it in my Raycaster is I do forever sense. Now, this slows it down, so you need, like, a pen size. You'll need a, a pen size of 9 for this to not be laggy. And, um, yeah. So, broadcast sense. Now, this is going to come handy in the next uh, sort of sprite thing. Okay. Got that? Good. Okay, so now you want to create your next sprite, and it's just going to be the exact same thing. And then we're going to name this sense, because it's what senses all the walls. Sense. Now, what you do here is when flag clicked, ghost effect to 100. Set ghost effect to 100. That is a simple thing. Okay, one second, guys. Okay, so now we're going to do when I receive sense, then we're going to create a block, and it's very important that you click run without screen refresh. And we're call this sense. So when I receive sense, sense and then broadcast draw and wait so draw okay so now that's there now we're gonna define sense one second guys okay, okay so we're going to have to create two things we're gonna have to create a variable called distance right there and then we're gonna have to create a list called distances. Now with these two things, here we'll actually just shorten this up. With these two things, you got those two things, right? Okay, nice. Okay, so now right here, we set, set distance to zero, but first we delete all of distances. All of distances, and then set distance to zero. Now, then there's another variable you have to create called angle offset. Now, set angle offset to negative 48. You can set it to whatever you want in the negative numbers, but negative 48 is the best number to set it at. Okay, so now I think we put a repeat 96 here. Yes, we do. Repeat 96. Okay, guys, you got that? Nice. Okay, so now we have to set distance to zero. So set distance to zero. Got that? Okay. Good. Okay, so now we want it to go to character. Now, with this go to character, we want it to point in direction direction of character. So direction of character. There we go. Direction of character plus we have to add a plus here angle offset. So that angle offset is offsetting the angle at which the sense points in. Okay, got that? Nice. Okay, so now we add a repeat until and then a or. So repeat until touching 
map or distance is bigger than 80 or 79. Distance is bigger than 79, so if it's 80 or more. Okay, so if it's those two things, then you have to add then you have to add move one move one steps. So move one steps, then change distance by one. Not angle offset, distance by one. Okay, you got that. Okay, now we're gonna need to add. Okay, so now we're gonna add add distance to distances and then change angle offset by one. Okay, so nice, you, you have all that. Okay, now I think that's that script done. Okay, so I think we have to create a new sprite. One second here, guys. Okay, so now we're going to create a new sprite and we actually don't have to put anything here. And we're gonna do when I receive draw and create a block. One second here, guys. Okay, guys, it's very important that you put run without screen refresh and then put it as draw. Make sure you put it as run without screen refresh. And now we're gonna define this and then that should be all we have to do. One second, guys. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna put that in there. Okay, now once you have that. Okay, so now we're going to use pen. So set pen size to five. Okay, so you have that. Okay, so now we're gonna set pen color to just whatever you want. For this demonstration, I'm gonna go blue. Okay. Got that? Nice. Okay, so now we're gonna clear. I'm gonna put clear there to ready the screen for drawing and then pen up so it's not touching there yet. Okay, so now with pen up, I think, repeat length of distances, I think it is. No, set columns. You need to create this thing, this variable called columns create that i didn't spell it correctly set columns to one okay now repeat length of distances okay one second okay real quick going to set pen shade so set pen shade or no set pen shade to 50 plus 50 plus one second guys so 50 plus okay so now we're gonna put a times right here and a divided right here and this one is going to be item item column of distances divided something divided by 50 divided by 80 goes right here guys so 50 divided by 80 okay so now that we have all of that guys we need to add okay so now we need to set the y coordinate so set y to i think it's 2000 or something divided by, yeah. 1,200 divided by item column of distances. Item columns of distances. Or, yeah, item columns of distances. Okay, so now that we have that, I think you need to add is a pen down. So pen down. Then... Set y to negative one two hundred and whatever that crap one thousand two. Okay, so we're near the final area. So now we're gonna put pen up and then change x by five. So you know how pen size is five. We're gonna change x by five. Change x by five and change columns by one.
And I think that is it, guys. One second, let me check. Okay, yeah, I think that is it. Let me check. Okay. One second. I just need to do a thing. This is a common glitch in these sort of games. You have to backspace everything and then sort of create the land that you can go in by deleting the area. Now, it should work. Yeah, see? There we go. Right here. Now, you can see all the variables. You can change if you want to see them or not. But actually, right now, we go insanely fast. So, let's stop the project. Let's stop the project. So that's not too laggy. Now go to character. Oh, it's at speed to 33. We need it to like 1.5. Now we should be good now. Now you can change, you can set the lag. Like you can um, change the lag. One thing I've found out is that you, if you put it to 1.6, and then go over here and then set this to like set pen size to 10 and change by 10. And then think, yeah, there's this thing I added in one of my other ones. I don't know. Let's just not change that. Um, if this video uh, gets maybe five views, then I'll make a second one on advanced tricks and how to get it to not be so laggy. So yeah, I guess what could help is to just take off all of these variables. That'll help a little bit. And you can basically add just what you want after. Like, who knows? In my main game that I created, I created a new sprite. Here, let me just delete this, this sprite. Here. I need to stop this project. It's getting a bit too laggy. I just created a sprite. Right here, that was basically just a hand. And it was just a hand that was there and that you could see because it was cool. It, it, it's not really cool, but whatever. So then you add that and then you bring it back there, I guess. And when you play, when you actually play, there's a hand right there and it looks like you're actually a human being. So yeah, that's how to make a 3D game. Usually I suggest, um, for me, I suggest you change the background to something darker than white so that it doesn't hurt your eyes. You can do basically whatever you want with this and create whatever maps you want. But yeah, let's call that Raycaster. And yeah, that is our... Um, that is our Raycaster with four sprites. And how long did that take us? About 18 minutes. So, uh, yeah, guys, see you next time. Hope that helped you a lot. And bye.